Hello, so this is some um, just benefits of yoga. I plan on doing some yoga at some point. Figured I might as well learn the benefits. So, one, um, it can dis decrease stress. Yoga is known for its ability to ease stress and promote relaxation. In fact, multiple studies have shown that it can decrease the um, secretion of cortisol in your brain, which is the primary stress hormone. One study demonstrated the powerful effect of yoga on stress by following 24 women who perceived themselves as emotionally distressed. After three months um, of a yoga program, the women had significantly lower levels of cortisol. They also had lower levels of stress, anxiety, fatigue, um, and depression. Two, relieve stress. Many people begin yoga as a way to cope with feelings of anxiety. Interestingly enough, there is quite a bit of research showing that yoga can help reduce anxiety. In one study, 34 women diagnosed with anxiety disorder participated in yoga tw classes twice a week for two months. At the end of the study, those who practiced yoga had significantly lower levels of anxiety and had and than the control group. <sighs> Three, may reduce um, inflammation in addition to improving your mental health. Some studies suggest that practicing yoga may reduce inflammation as well. Inflammation is a normal immune response, but chronic inflammation can contribute to the development of pro-inflammatory diseases such as heart disease, diabetes, and cancer. A 2015 study divided 218 participants into two groups, those who practiced yoga regularly and those who didn't. Both groups then performed moderate and strenuous um, exercises to induce stress. At the end of the study, the individuals um, who practiced yoga had lower levels of inflammatory markers than those who did not. Similarly, a similar study showed that 12 weeks of yoga reduced inflammation um, inflammatory markers in breast cancer survivors. Uh, four, it could improve heart health. From pumping blood throughout the body to supplying tissue the important nutrient with important nutrients, the heart, the health of your heart is an essential component of overall health. Studies show that yoga may help improve heart health and reduce several risk factors for heart disease. One study found that participants over 40 years of age who practiced yoga for five years had a lower blood pressure and pulse rate. Uh, five, improves quality of life. Yoga is becoming increasingly common as an adjunct a adjunction therapy to improve quality of life for many individuals. In one study, 135 um, seniors were assigned to either six months of yoga, a walking, or a control group. Participating yoga, participating yoga significantly improved quality of life, as well as mood and fatigue. Uh, it may help fight six, may help fight depression. Some studies show that yoga may have an, an antidepressant. Uh, in fact, and could help decrease symptoms of depression. This may be because yoga is able to decrease levels of cortisol, a stress hormone, as mentioned before. Uh, seven, could reduce chronic pain. Chronic pain is a persistent problem that affects millions of Americans and has a range of problems causes um, from injuries to arthritis. Um, there is a growing body of research demonstrating that practicing yoga could help reduce many types of chronic pain. In one study, 42 individuals with carpal tunnel syndrome either received a wrist splint or did yoga for eight weeks. At the end of the study, yoga was found to be more effective in reducing pain and improving grip strength than wrist splitting. Splinting. Not splitting, it's splinting. Eight um, could promote sleep quality. Poor sleep quality has been associated with obesity, high blood pressure, um, depression, among other disorders. Studies show that incorporating yoga into your routine can help promote better sleep. Nine, improves flexibility and balance. Many people add yoga to their fitness routine to improve flexibility and balance. That's actually my main reason for um, thinking about doing a couple of them on YouTube. 10, could help improve breathing. Uh, this also goes hand in hand with mindfulness and that kind of stuff. So, 
11 may relieve um, migraines. Migraines are severe reoccurring headaches that affect an estimated of one out of seven Americans each year. Traditional migraines are treated with medications to relieve and manage symptoms. However, increasing evidence shows that yoga can be useful um, adjunction, adjunct therapy to help reduce migraine frequency. 12. Promotes healthy eating habits. Mindful eating, also known as intuitive eating, is a concept that encourages being present at the moment while eating. What do you want? You're good. What do you want? What should you help with, honey? That's it. Bye. Hello. Um, so, this is the end of the video. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, it helps me, basically. <laughs> Um, I make these videos for myself, but it helps knowing that if somebody else liked it. So, thanks for watching.